Yo, what's going on guys? Coltimush back at it with the top 5 PC hardware deals of the week. As always, some great deals to be found on a various number of websites, so let's get right into this with number 5. Number 5, and I always seem to start these lists off with storage, so number 5 is the Seagate 2TB Barracuda on Tiger Direct right now for $70. This is only about $20 more than the WD Blue, and you're getting a whole extra terabyte of storage, so if you're in the market for a new hard drive, this is pretty decent. The failure rate is kind of high, but it is a mechanical drive. All mechanical drives have a tendency to fail and it's not all too bad i can personally say that i got my three terabyte seagate drive about a year and a half ago and it's still going strong so that's great and for this amount of storage for this level of price you really can't go wrong with the seagate two terabyte and all their drives really right now Number 4, continuing on the theme of storage, on Amazon right now you can get an OCZ Tryon 100 series 120GB solid state drive for only $48. That is a ridiculous deal for an SSD, I mean I've been saying it in pretty much all my videos, wow is it crazy to see how quickly SSD prices are going down. $48 for 120GB of storage is a ridiculously good deal. At this point, it's not at the point where you can just get an SSD and not get a mechanical drive, but nowadays, SSDs is something you can fit in in even the most budget end of builds. Even in a $500 or $600 build these days, a $48 SSD, that's not really that much, and it's going to make your PC much more snappier. So $48 for a 120GB SSD is a great deal. The 240GB is $90. 480GB is $160, and 960GB is $280. Number 3 is the Corsair CX Series CX430 on Newegg right now for $20 after a $20 mail-in rebate. And there's a promotional code which I'll leave in the description box down below that takes off another $4. So this CX430 is $16 when you factor everything in. Now it's not a crazy good power supply, but for $16 it's an 80 plus bronze certified power supply which is great for budget and build. It is only 430 watts so don't expect this to power something like a GTX 970. You want to get some lower end hardware to go with this power supply, something like an R7. 260X or an R9 270 and an Intel Core i3 that would work really well with the CX430 but for $16 that's a really good deal on a budget end power supply and this is perfect for your super budget end builds you know those PCs that you're building as a league machine or the World of Warcraft machines things like that this power supply is perfect for. Number 2 is the Gigabyte GA-Z97X-SLI LJ1150 motherboard. This is a Z97 motherboard on Amazon right now for $86 and there's $6 shipping and handling. About $90 for a Z97 board is a really solid deal. And this one has a really slick red and black color scheme so I think you guys are going to like this a lot. Typically Z97 boards you don't see them sub $100 that often. And especially with this being a Gigabyte board, some of the ASRock boards you do see cheaper but a Gigabyte board for $90 that's pretty uncommon. And the fact that it's a Z97 board as well and a pretty good looking one. I think this is a really good deal right now. This is sold by a third party Amazon seller so it's not from Amazon directly but all of the times that I've bought from third party sellers I've had no problems whatsoever. So check out the Gigabyte GA-Z97X-SLI LJ1150 motherboard. Really good deal right now. Finally number one is the Sapphire Radeon R9 290. This is a refurbished video card sold by Newegg on eBay right now and it's only $220. Now yes it is a refurbished video card which I know not not everybody is a fan of it. A lot of people want to get their GPUs new, but $220 for an R9 290, that's a pretty insane deal. I mean, $220 is what a lot of people pay for like an R9 280X, and to get an R9 290 for that price, a 4GB model, that is a really killer deal. This is a great video card if you're doing 1080p gaming, or if you even want to do some light 1440p gaming as well, you'll be golden. You can run games like The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt at 1080p at really high settings, get like 55 to 60 frames per second. It's just a beast of a graphics card, and yes, it is refurbished, but at this price point, $220, you really can't go wrong with that. And it's also got free shipping, so that's great as well. So just check this one out. This is the Sapphire model. Also has a great cooler on it, so you can overclock the hell out of it if you want as well. So this one is just a great value. I really think if you are in the market for a new video card, if you are on a budget, you can get this refurbished video card for a really cheap price. And this one has a ton of power as well. So as always, guys, thanks for watching this video. Let me know if you pick any of these deals up. Let me know if I missed any deals because then I will add them in the description box. As always, guys, thanks for watching this video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.